Welcome back to the Hot Tip Bets Daily Pick Show here for Saturday, August 19th. Got some more MLB action. Got UFC 292 going on today. All sorts of great stuff here for Saturday. And we'll jump into all that here in a second. But before we do, quickly looking back at Friday's picks. Don't quite have the results for any of these yet. Um, recording a little bit earlier here on Friday so we can get the early access out to all of the Dub Club subscribers. But we got that Braves run line, minus one and a half, Rangers money line, as well as the over in the Diamondbacks Padres game, as well as the Marlins. Dodgers game so I'm gonna have to wait and see how all those play out but if you want to see the unit size for all of the picks before the games start head over to dub club linked down in the description Um, you can get some great deals over there early access to all of the YouTube videos ad for YouTube videos the dub club notifications discord access and like I said my recommended unit size for all of my picks so um, go use Chris 3 at checkout right now Um, go choose that three month option and you can get your first three months for only 1999 so um really a no-brainer at this point thanks to everyone who subscribed as of late go subscribe if you haven't and let's get into saturday's show now we start today's show off from wrigley field as the royals take on the cubs for the royals coming to this game as the 28th overall team in the high tibet power ranking the cubs are the 11th overall team for the cubs have been a very strong hitting team as of late fifth overall in batting while the royals come into this game 27th overall pitching wise the cubs have struggled a bit more but still certainly have the advantage in this game 18th in pitching while the royals are 28th uh, as far as the starters go here for this one brady singer on the mound for the royals Justin Steele gets the start for the Cubs and really two polar opposite pitchers coming into this game i mean Steele has been remarkable this season a 13 and 3 record overall a very impressive 2.79 era a 1.17 whip i mean really has been um a very very good pitcher for the cubs all season long only giving up a 34.7 hard hit percentage and has a 22.9 strikeout percentage on the season hard to poke a whole lot of holes um in what he has done really at all this season and on the other side of things brady singer gets the start for the royals and He's not a guy who I've completely hated this year. You know, an 8-8 eight and eight record on the year. I mean, for what the Royals are overall, certainly manageable. Um, not the worst theory in the world at 4.91. Certainly below average and not great. A 1.32 whip isn't bad. But the hard hits are concerning, to say the least. Bottom 1% of the league for Singer at the moment. 49.6 hard hit percentage is what he has given up this season. Not the worst strikeout percentage in the world at 19.9, but overall, just a pitcher who has certainly struggled on a team that has struggled even more. Um, As far as the model goes here for this game, has the Cubs projected at 5.1 runs, while the Royals at 3.79. Good enough for a minus 181 favorite for the Cubs coming into this one. Has them just a slight favorite um, or slight negative odds however you want to say that on the run line there minus one and a half at minus 101 for the Cubs and that's where I'm actually going to target here for this game not a whole lot of edge really at all for either side um, on the money line here in this game But a decent edge here for the Cubs, minus one and a half, plus 110 um, on that run line. And that's where I'm going to go. Only a 2.63% edge um, from the computer model. But with how Singer has pitched this season, how good Steele has been, and really how much better the Cubs bats have been this season compared to the Royals, I think this is a prime opportunity for them to win this game and win it pretty handedly. Taking the Cubs, minus one and a half at plus 110 here against the Royals. Next up on Saturday's card, we got the Pirates taking on the Twins for the Pirates. Coming to this game is the 24th overall team in the hot tibet power ranking. The Twins are the 10th overall team. As far as batting goes this season, they've both been fairly even. Minnesota, a slight advantage, 18th overall in batting, um, while the Pirates are 24th. Pittsburgh's also the 23rd overall team pitching-wise. Minnesota has actually been fairly strong pitching-wise, 5th overall here coming into this game. Um, but as far as the starters go here for this one, Mitch Keller on the mound for the Pirates. Pirates he's impressed me certainly this season again not the greatest stat line in the world but relative to the team he's on it has not been the worst of the world nine and eight overall a 4.27 era a 1.28 whip and actually has an impressively good hard hit percentage 33.5 percent um on the year for him you know has certainly shown up at times this season had a pretty good performance against the braves a few weeks ago looked good in his last start against the reds um really mitch keller has kind of been undervalued on where the pirates money lines have been 
been um, when he's been on the mound as of late. But Sony Gray on the other side of things for the Twins coming into this game obviously is a strong pitcher as well. A 3.04 ERA, a 1.22 whip. Has struggled a bit more with the hard hits, giving up a 41.1 hard hit percentage, but has been good with the strikeouts, a 24.7 strikeout percentage on the season. And he himself comes off of a very great performance against the Phillies um, where he gave up no runs. But as far as the model goes here for this one, projects the Pirates at 3.98 runs, Minnesota at 4.6, a plus 133 underdog here for the Pirates coming into this one. Um, but some decent value on the the current odds here plus 156 is where the pirates currently sit at um a kind of flip from where it opened up opened up at plus 124 really went across the line um here where we're at but with how high it has gotten here a 3.86 percent edge on that pirates money line i think it's a fairly strong bet especially with mitch keller on the mound i really just love how he has pitched um and giving me this much plus money on him i'm gonna take the bet taking the pirates plus 156 here against the twins we head to Atlanta to close out the MLB portion of the show. Got the Giants taking on the Braves for the Giants. Coming to this game is the 14th overall team in the hot to bet power ranking. The Braves, the number one overall team. Um, Braves also remain the number one overall hitting team in the league in the rankings. The Giants 19th. Pitching wise, two teams that are a little bit more even. Atlanta 7th. Um, San Francisco is 10th overall. And as far as starters go for this game, Logan Webb gets the start for the Giants here in this game. Um, Yoni Torino's on the mound for Atlanta in this game and you know Torino's has struggled a little bit for the Braves this season certainly not the best stat lines um, you know that we've seen out of him in the world obviously it has not been getting starting duties up until recently um, but nonetheless some struggles from him this season a 4.02 ERA on the year a 1.24 whip and his hard hits have really not been great a 44.9 hard hit percentage and only a 14.1 strikeout percentage for Torino's here on the season on the other side of things for Logan Webb, been slightly better in certain areas, but he's also struggled in certain areas. Nine and nine on the year, 3.26 ERA ain't bad, 107 whip um, isn't bad either. But a 45.4 hard hit percentage is a little bit, you know, below where I would like to see him um, at this point in the season. He's done a pretty good job striking guys out 24.4% of the time, but um, would like to see a little bit more out of Webb at this point. As far as the model has this one, projects the Giants at 4.13 runs, Atlanta at 6.11, um, has Atlanta as a very sizable favorite, um, certainly a, a, an edge on the model there. I think that's a little high. I don't think they should project it as high as the model has it. So I'm not going to take the money line um, for Atlanta in this game. But I do like the over. I think projected at 10.24 runs. I think while the, the, the actual spread is probably a little bit off here between these two teams, um, I do think we're still going to see a lot of runs in this game with Reb and Torinos on the mound here in this one. Um, and where we currently sit, over 9.5 plus 100, I think is fairly good odds here for this one. Taking the over 9.5 runs here for Giants Braves. And we finish Saturday's card off with UFC 292 coming at us from Boston. Um, go over to the website. Obviously, the computer model picks up for all of the fights, but a couple of top plays here. A um, couple of bigger dogs. Obviously, Neil Magny plus 390. Um, Chris Weidman plus 220. Um, Cheeto Vera as the top play. Cody Gibson um, in the Ultimate Fighter finale there. And obviously, Silva um, getting the prelim started there. So that's what the computer model likes. I would probably lean that way on most of those fights. I do really like Cheeto here. I don't know that I'm really willing to lay the juice at minus 182. But the fight that I want to take a look at is the main event. Sugar Sean taking on Al Jameen Sterling. Um, a fight that Sterling didn't really want to happen. Not saying he was trying to dodge the fight, but it was just, you know, didn't want to fight. The UFC basically bullied him into fighting here in this one. Um, and, and for Sean, you know, comes off a win against Peter Jan in his last fight. A split decision victory in that one. One that really could have gone either way. I mean, Sterling also coming into this fight after a split decision over Henry Cejudo. But probably more of a decisive win um, for Sterling in that one. And really, it's not hard to see what the key for each one of these fighters is going to be coming into this one. For Sterling, it's obviously, you know, get Sean to 
to the ground, wrestle with him. I mean, Sean has said himself that <laughs> Sterling, you know, is the much superior wrestler. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Um, but what Sean does have an advantage in here is going to be the striking. Not only is he a very powerful striker, he's very accurate with those strikes as well. And has a bit of a size advantage, a three inch height advantage, um, a one inch reach advantage, which could certainly help in that striking there. And that's really the key for Sean coming into this fight is to keep it on the feet, throw hard punches, throw them early, throw them often. I mean, really, this is a fight that we are gonna know within rounds one and two if Sugar Sean is gonna come out victorious in this one. Um, yeah, obviously the knockout potential is always there, sure, even later on in the fight, but I think if we see a knockout from Sean, it's gonna be in the first two rounds or so, um, and he really needs to come out firing and look good in those rounds because if Sterling can just wear him down, kind of like we saw Sean at the end of that Yan fight, he's going to get tired. It's going to be tough. Um, it's going to be very hard to stay on his feet and not let Sterling do something um, and find that submission. But overall, at plus 225, I just have a really hard time going with Sterling. Obviously, has been a dominating factor in this division for you know a very long time, a nine-fight win streak coming into this one. Um, but Sean has also been a very, very strong fighter. Um, and while this certainly is not going to be an easy opponent, I think he pushes pressure early. Um, you know, I think he, he looks to, to dominate it in the striking game. And I think O'Malley finds the knockout early on here in this one. Either way, like I said, we got to see something great out of Sean in the first two rounds. He's got to win the first two rounds if he's going to try and win this by a decision because Sterling, um, I think, is obviously going to have an advantage as this fight goes later on. But um, at plus 225, like I said, I think there's just too much value on O'Malley here in this one. I'm taking him to get the win in the main event. Sugar Sean plus 225 here against Aljamain Sterling. And that'll do it here for Saturday's show. Now, like I said, if you haven't already checked out the website, head over there. Obviously, we've got UFC picks for all of the fights going on from the prelims to the main event, um, as well as all the MLB action going on today. A couple of double headers over there, horse racing picks. It's a great Saturday to be betting on sports, so go check out the website. Also, follow all the social links down below, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, so you don't miss out on anything going on over there. As well as if you're watching here on YouTube, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future uploads most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on today and thanks for watching today's video i will see you guys tomorrow